Thank you for joining me for E! News. Last Sunday, we took in new members as well as celebrated our third grade Bibles. What an incredible group of young people that are coming into the church as our leaders and walking into knowing a relationship with Christ. This next Sunday, we will continue the story of us as we look at the stained glass windows and the biblical journey as well as the church history. And to know that there are tours after each service so that you can get a close-up look and more detail. So make sure you come in, in person to worship and to see those uh, uh, stained glass windows and the beautiful images that are there. What a gift this church has given to those that can come and see. Now, we have so many other things, not just inside the life of the church, but in the world. So know that next in the next few Sundays, we'll be celebrating Worldwide Communion, as well as Bring a Friend to Church, as well as a Children's Sabbath. In the midst of all that, we're getting ready for the pumpkins that will come that's down the road in a few weeks, but it'll be here before you know it. So make sure you bring in your candy, invite a friend to church, and you can see below. Now, let me also mention that this Sunday will be our last Sunday that we will have Sean Northcraft as our youth minister and director. And so we will, in both services, give him a blessing and a prayer as he moves on, as he continues his ministry journey and becoming a chaplain in, in the Navy. So we, we, we pray for him and we give thanks for him. Know that there are many, many other things going on, our missions, our outreach, our food pantry, there's too many to talk about this Sunday, but I hope to see each of you in person in worship if you can be there for 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock as we continue to unravel and share the story of how God has called us to be the church today. God bless. God loves you and I love you and we'll see you soon.